All right, welcome back. Moving on from the body, getting that in primer, we're gonna start actually working on the engine bay. There's uh, some stuff that I wanna clean up, make it a little nicer, and then we'll get that in primer too. Here we go. Okay, so the owner picked up a new uh, intercooler. It was in the front, if you don't know. Um, it's pretty big. This is like really big, I think this is five inch. Jeez. Anyway, I am going to try and get it mounted on the car, make sure everything fits right before we keep going. And then I'll try to run piping, make sure the piping hole fits right too. If it doesn't, I'll just widen it out and call it. Uh, yeah, here we go. Hopefully this all fits good. All right, so I got the intercooler in. That is looking really good. Super happy with that. It um, was, was not easy to put in by any means. It's very heavy. And on top of that, the rotisserie is in the way, so I can't just come at it. I had to lift up from underneath, and I did it by myself. I do not recommend doing that by yourself anyway. Um, now what I need to do is figure out what to do with the piping, because I can't attach the piping here, because the rotisserie is mounted here. And I need to do that just so I can check the hole is in the right spot. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to lower the whole car, put it on jacks, take just this side off and double check the piping. That's the only way I can think of doing it. Yeah, it's going to be a giant pain. I wish I did this before we did this on the rotisserie, but it is what it is. So I've got to get it done. All right, here we go. All right, so I got the piping in. It's been quite a task just to get some piping in, but we got it in. Unfortunately, I'm having an issue now where I'm bumping on this side and this side. The reason is the pipe is coming through on an angle and that would mean it would need to be like a oval shape. You know, it's not coming straight up, it's coming on an angle. You can kind of see right here that it is a bent piece of pipe and that's where the issue is coming from. Fortunately, the owner doesn't want a new pipe made, so I'm going to have to cut the circle bigger and I'm not going to add another bevel on it. That's just too much work. So yeah, it's too bad that I put all the work putting that bevel in, but it is what it is. Go ahead and get this out and then we'll start cleaning that up, do another test fit, just double check. And then we'll start cleaning up some more stuff in the engine bay. All right, so I was talking with the owner, seeing what he wanted to do. He wants the hole to stay in actual circle. So we're just going to widen the circle a little bit. He doesn't want it to be an oval, even though like the pipe is coming through on an angle. And that would mean like if you had it even all the way around, the hole would be an oval. But I guess we're going to stay a circle. So I'll go ahead and get the pipe out and then we'll widen it up. Maybe like an eighth of an inch or a quarter of an inch. We'll see. Okay, so I got a paper clip. I unfolded it and then just put a little bend like this. You kind of see what's going on. And then what I'll do is I'll just make the circle a little bigger. Pop this guy on here, hold the marker right against it, and then we'll trace it out so it's wider. I think that'll do. So, yeah. All right, so I got the hole feeling pretty good. I got it cleaned up pretty well. We'll go ahead and put the pipe back in and see how we're looking. All right, there we are. Hopefully that'll, hopefully that'll do. So. All right, so just like the last video, I sprayed on some black paint that's just gonna act as the guide coat. So when I'm sanding, I can see areas that need more sanding done. Cool.
All right, so I got a crazy amount of time in sanding this. It's not fully sanded out yet. There's still like a few spots in the corners to go, but you know, that can wait for a second. Uh, but what I'm doing now is I got uh, the seams taped off. I'm gonna add one more coat of seam sealer, just a nice flow coat, just so it flows out and looks a little smoother. And then we should be ready to go for high build primer after I get the little corners and stuff like finalized sanding, but it's looking pretty good. This is taking me a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of time to sand out. Cannot stress that enough. This is a lot of work to do properly and have it actually come out nicely and not just a quick scratch and spray job. So yeah, here we go. We're gonna put some seam sealer on now. All right, seam sealer's on. It's the clear kind, so it's kind of hard to see on camera. Hopefully it comes out good. It looks like it came out good when I removed the tape. Um, yeah, when I spray primer, I'll definitely be able to see the highs and lows when I sand that out finally. But yeah, it looks really good. I'm happy, cool. All right, so a small update here. The owner wants a coupling nut welded to the front rail. He wants it welded right here that'll act as a secondary place for a tow hook to fit on easily through the bumper usually you have to take the bumper off to get at the factory tow hooks so this will just be a quicker way to be able to put a tow hook on so i got to clean off the epoxy primer here and we will weld this guy on and then do an etching primer and then we can go and finish with a high build primer in the engine bay all right fun fun here we go All right, so I cleaned off the zinc plating on one side. So there's a zinc plating, and then there's the parts that don't have the zinc plating. So that'll be the bottom, and then the sides. A quick spray this too with a weld through primer, and then we can weld these on. I had to run to the store and get another one, and the owner actually wanted two. So there'll be one on the bottom, and then one up top. Can't see that right now. But yeah, we'll go ahead and get these welded on now. Okay, so I was just talking with the owner and we decided that where we're gonna weld it will be flush with uh, this line right here versus having it all the way forward because then there's this big gap that I have to do fill weld and that's just not ideal. So we'll keep it flush right there and we'll be good to go. And then I'll do the same thing to the other side. All right, clamp version two or three or whatever we're on here. This is looking good now. We got nice level on this thing. Oops, there we go. So yeah, that's looking good. Cross that. I like where we're at. Time to start welding. All right, here's how we're looking. We started off a little bit cold. You can see and then it flew out or flowed out pretty nice near the end. Let that cool off and then I will try to do the backside. And then we'll just clean up the weld and make it look nicer and we'll do the other side. Cool. Just wanted to quick note something right here. You can see the primer overheats and then flakes off from so much heat being applied to it just so when I do finish getting the car painted, we will run a ton of cavity wax inside here so it can flood in there with cavity wax to help prevent any rusting in the future. Cool. Okay, so I have the whole car flipped upside down just to be able to get at this. Unfortunately, this is probably gonna be a pretty ugly weld just because it's gonna be hard to get the gun in between the rail and line it up and then hope that we can drag it and make something decent. 
Uh, yeah, it's probably going to be a really ugly well. That's just part of the game dealing with it being on the rotisserie, and I don't know how else to do it without making different support bars for the rotisserie. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Okay, not the, uh, I don't know if you guys can see that, not the prettiest, but I think it'll do. The uh, the front looks good. Let me see if I can zoom in. Oh jeez. The front here looks good. It's just right there is a little rough. I had my gun rested on the rail and there's a little notch and then when I went to move forward it uh, kind of caused a space so I had to do a little spot weld there. But, yow. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, just double checking this bolt. You can see I can turn it by hand, it comes out. So we are good to go, cool. All right, we got the engine bay messed off. We're looking pretty good. I am going to start mixing up some high build primer and we'll get spraying, cool. All right, so the engine bay's in primer. We're looking really good. I will go ahead and spray it down again with uh, some black paint, just as a guide coat for sanding. And then we'll get the plastic off the car, spray the body with black paint, and sand the whole thing out one more time. Probably do 500 grit, and we will be ready for color. All right, I got uh, the same thing we did last time, just a painter stick, and then I wrapped it in 500 wet dry sandpaper, and we'll start blocking out the body again, and it's gonna come out good, cool. Okay, so just like the last video, here's what we're starting with, with all that black and then sanding it away. And then it just fades into nothing, but you can see there's still spots that I'm missing. So I'll go through and hit those again. I'll just show you guys that this, this is a slow going process and you gotta take your time and use the proper technique to get the best results. But yeah, I'm sure this is gonna go smooth. It's just gonna take me forever. So I will keep updating you as I go. Okay, this quarter panel is looking good. I started the roof. Now I just got to get inside of the seam right here. And to do that, I got a round block. So that'll help get this curve nice. So I'll go ahead and finish doing that. And this quarter panel will be done. And then we'll do the rocker and the roof and then the other side. All right, so this side came out good. There's zero issues at all. So yeah, super happy with how this came out. The roof is all good. So all of the actual like visible body panels and stuff on the car are looking really, really, really good. And so I'll start doing the door jams now. Fun, fun. All right, so because of all of the different shapes and angles of the actual door jam itself, we will be using different blocks. I got a Dura block here. This guy's pretty stout 
and then a Merca block here. This guy's a two layered different material and it's more flexible and the top is squishier than the, the black side. So we'll just be using those blocks to get the, the door jam done. Cool. All right, so update, I got that sanded out pretty good. I got the jam stuff sanded out pretty good. The engine bay needs to be done. And then also these like spot weld locations here need to be done. And this is a prep pen. So a sanding prep pen. So I'm just gonna start sanding all of those out too. This is taking forever, but it's gotta get done. So yeah. All right, I'm slowly chipping away at this. My my hand is really starting to cramp up. I'm running out of the, the here's our, the filaments that go inside of the sanding pen. So you can see I've gone through all of those. My hand is really starting to cramp up, but yeah, I gotta keep pushing through, get it all nice and done. All right, so the owner has these fender rail braces that he wants installed. They go right here. So we got to drill a hole before paint. So we'll get those in. I got to get the hinges in for the door. These sit on top of those. Honestly, I don't think these braces are going to do anything because you have the factory brace right here, which is also longer. So. I just don't think that this is actually going to do anything. But yeah, we'll get it on for them. We'll drill those holes out and it'll be a nice change of pace from sanding. All right, I uh, quick tapped, cleaned up the holes because they were just filled with primer and stuff. But yeah, I got the brackets on. So those are looking good. Um, got to get this bracket off. And then we'll get this mounted on and then we'll be able to see where the holes have to be drilled and we'll drill those out. All right, the hole is drilled. We'll slide the bracket in and we'll be set. All right, boom, there we go. Now we'll just replicate that on the other side. All right, here is the other side on. Get these off and back to sanding. It was a nice little break from sanding for a little while. <laughs> cool. All right, that'll do it for this video. The whole car has been sanded out. The engine bay is a lot of work to sand out. I will probably just uh, double check everything off camera and make sure I, there's no spots that I'm missing. I need to get some paint ordered up and that's super exciting because that is next. So stay tuned. Hit me with that like button. Comment down below what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.